Hey there Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general uh, weekly reading. Any information you guys need can be found within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. Um, I have email readings as well as recorded video readings. So um, the recorded video readings, I have a life path portion, a color portion, and a general portion. You can customize the general portion and, you know, have it aimed at a specific topic if you wish. Um, all that information, though, you guys can find in the description box down below. Personals go out every Monday after purchase, okay? So, um, there was something else I was going to say really quick before I got started on your all's reading. Um, there's something new that I'm doing. Uh, this channel that I came across, it just made me really want to do this. This girl, she, um, she is a little bit of a smaller channel uh, than I am. And and she just offers some really unique messages, okay, is how I feel. Uh, her name is um, Imperial Mystic. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to have her uh, channel linked in the comment section, okay, uh, because she's just a breath of fresh air. So um, yeah, if you guys want to check her out, that information will be down there. I think that when I come across readers who, you know, I feel have something different to offer, I'm going to link them for you guys because it just seems fair, okay? So what's going on here for Virgo, please? Okay. All right. I hope you guys know nope, you can't see it, can you? So basically, I'm going to do nine cards spread in an overall energy, and then I'm going to clarify, all right? Interesting. Let's see. Not a lot of majors here in your reading. Actually, only one, the full card. I'm sure more will pop out. We have the five of uh, wands. So this is Saturn and Leo. Um, so yeah, there's definitely something that um, is troubling you this week, okay? With the Five of Wands being the overall energy, you have the Five of Swords in your reading as well. Um, yeah, I almost feel like there's some kind of mental conflict that is... Um, you know, making its way into the physical. So there's some kind of internal conflict um, that is moving outwards, all right? So there could be something in your environment here that, you know, maybe you're not like cleaning or something like that here with this Four of Pentacles energy. Four of Pentacles can be kind of like hoarding something. So yeah, there's definitely something that you're holding on to. Seven of Pentacles, things are kind of building up. So we're going to get to the bottom of this and see what's up. Tell me about this Five of Wands energy here for the overall, for Virgo's reading, okay? What is going on here with this? Tell me about this Five of Wands. For the overall energy of Virgo's reading. Five of Wands, please. What's this Five of Wands about? For Virgo. Okay, so what is this here? Four of Wands, okay. Um, yeah, so Four of Wands is Venus and Aries. So some of you could have this placement, but overall, I feel like there's a rebirth that's trying to take place here. If you notice the white rabbits on the card, uh, that is an energy of like a rebirth, okay? So, you know, this clarifying the Five of Wands is telling me that I feel like you're resisting some kind of new beginning here, okay? And maybe you're resisting this new beginning because it doesn't feel good, okay? Uh, so there's something here that just feels like you're having to release, all right? Um, or this new beginning is just very big and it feels scary to you. So there's something about that here as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more for that. But you move from the Five of Wands to this clarifying as the Four of Wands. So I do feel like you move back to a place of stability out of this chaos and conflict. Um, so we're going to look what's going on there. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, this is some kind of decision that you have to make and it's possible that you're kind of refusing to make the decision. Okay, it could involve a Gemini. It doesn't have to, but the Lovers does represent a decision and a turning point as well. All right, so there's something you're conflicted about basically uh, when it comes to making a decision. All right. And I feel like it could lead you to really good things, but you're resisting it. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. So yeah, there's some kind of mental confliction here. Um, I almost feel like some of you guys could be outgrowing a person. Uh, so that could be a problem here. You don't want to say goodbye to a past lifestyle or to um, a connection here. What's going on with this Five of Swords? But the Five of Swords is a card of development, okay? So, you know, there's something here where you're growing, all right? But you're looking back at something else here. So to me, it seems like there's something you've outgrown. You have the temperance card. So it could be a Sagittarius here that you've outgrown. But I also feel like, you know, um, somebody's time is up is basically how I feel. Temperance is a card of patience. So somebody's time is up and you wish that it wasn't is how this feels here to me, Virgo. You wish that their time wasn't up. You wish you didn't have to do this, but you do, okay? Uh, so there's something about that here where you're feeling really troubled by that. So Page of Cups, this could be a water sign for some, okay? But temperance is also a card like divine guidance, okay? So if you're having to release a person, you know, they weren't meant to stay, you know? What's going on with the Page of Cups? It really is that simple, even though it doesn't feel that way. 
Page of Cups, please. What's going on with this Page of Cups? Judgment. Um, uh, Scorpio and Aries, because it's Pluto, right? There is some kind of decision. Um, for some of you guys, somebody could actually be making this decision for you. And like I said, um, for some, like no action, no decision being made on this person's part uh, actually made the decision for you, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so no choice is a choice. So that's what I feel like saying here. This person has made their choice, all right? So um, you're just, you know, calling it what it is is how this feels for some of you. Uh, for others of you, there is some kind of new idea coming in, page of cups, some kind of message that you're going to have to make a decision on. For some of you, it's going to involve a physical move, okay? What's going on with this? Um, Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo energy. There you are. What's going on with this Nine of Pentacles, please? What is that? Four of Cups. Um, that is Moon and Cancer. And then we have the Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra, okay? Mm. So all this to me is like a certain level of comfort, all right? Everything, um, you know, it's, it's hard to explain energy, but basically all these, these three swords pointed down, you know, here in this uh, card. It's not like it, it feels like an anchoring to something is how this feels to me. It feels like you're stuck on something, even if it's painful. Saturn and Libra, a relationship obstacle of some sort. Even the Four of Cups, that's a card of not being satisfied with something, right? She's sitting at the root of this tree, though. Um, so I feel like there's something here where basically you're just stuck at the root of something. You're comfortable with something. You're stuck at the beginning of it, how it was when you invested in it, not what it is now. So there's something about that here where I feel like you've gotten comfortable, basically. Nine of Pentacles, uh, some of you have tricked yourselves into feeling like you're happy in a situation that you're not happy in, okay? Um, or you're trying to trick yourself into it. And the way that you're doing that is by going back to the root of it, going back to where it began um, and staying there rather than in what it is now, Okay. So there's something about that that you're going to have to work through there with that um, because you're just very devoted to something that is just not what it used to be, okay? You're not in alignment with it anymore um, for some of you, okay? Um, so yeah, and that may not be your message. Maybe this next one will be, but the Fool card represents breaking free from something. Um, Aquarian energy, so liberation of some sort. Tell me about the Fool. Okay, we're getting three cards for this, so let's flip them over and see. There you are with the Hermit energy, Virgo. Um, and then we have the Moon, Pisces energy, and the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. Okay, clarifying the Fool. Hmm. So for some of you, there's some kind of hidden path here <clears throat> that you're discovering. That Hermit card, an energy of discovering something, the Moon card. Uh, something hidden, Six of Wands. It's going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of victory. Also, this is kind of reminding you that embracing uncertainty is a good thing, okay? So even if you're not, you know, because the moon can represent something that's hidden, all right? Uh, just going within and figuring out what feels right to you. If leaving a situation is all that feels right to you, then leave that situation, okay? That's how this feels to me, okay? Uh, the moon card, once again, though, it's something that is hidden, okay? So basically, they're telling you that things are going to be okay regardless, you know? Regardless of you not knowing the outcome, it's going to be all right. Six of wands, you're going to have success. You're going to have victory in this situation. If something's meant for you, it'll happen. If it's not, then it's not then it's not you know if you leave the situation and it's absolutely meant for you it's going to return to you so what is there to worry about page of swords air gemini libra aquarius what's going on with the page of swords the strength card leo energy yeah, so there's something here, basically, Virgo, that I feel like you're holding yourself back from. With that Page of Swords energy, it's a card of curiosity. You want to move towards something. You're feeling urged to do something different, okay? Um, that's how that feels to me for some. For others of you, you're being urged, like you feel urged to express something here. The Strength card, Leo energy, your pride is holding you back is how that feels to me, okay? Um, so yeah, basically, there's something you want to express here is all that I'm getting off of this. Let's see what else. Tell me about, okay, I'm just going to move to this Four of Pentacles then because that's what I'm being called to do. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. We have Sun and Capricorn energy. What's going on with this Four of Pentacles for Virgo? The Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm going to do one more here. Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio. Hmm. I need to see these all together here.
Yeah, so basically what I'm seeing here is that you guys need to leave the past in the past. That's how this feels to me with the Six of Cups energy. That is a card. It's Sun and Scorpio energy. It's burning away the past, a death to the past, to bring about brighter days. Four of Pentacles, clarifying that being the Ace of Cups. You know, leaving the past in the past is going to bring you emotional fulfillment, basically. That Four of Pentacles being here is telling me that you're, you're trying to hold on to something that's over is how this feels. The message keeps getting repetitive, but that's truly how this feels to me. And I also feel that for some of you, you possess some kind of skill, a creative skill of some sort. Um, Six of Cups, some kind of experience, some kind of past experience is going to benefit you. Okay, this isn't like a business and career kind of uh, situation. This isn't in a love situation. So leave the past in the past is referring to some kind of love situation that you can't let go of or that you feel you can't let go of is what I should say. Okay. For others of you where this is a business and career situation, I feel like this is talking about something that you're holding back that you need to put on display with that strength card. Um, it's pretty much saying that, you know, strength, it's its Leo energy, right? Leo is ruled, uh, they rule the um, the spine and the uh, heart, right? So courage, backbone, to put something on display, to go for something, to swing this sword, okay? You will have success. For a lot of you guys, this is a, this is a hidden path. This is something that has never been done before, okay? Uh, so there's something about that, or it's never been done by someone like you, all right? Um, so that's what I'm feeling here in regards to that. We have this Nine of Cups energy as well. So we have Jupiter and Pisces here. Yeah, I'm just feeling a stubborn energy. I mean, both of these cards, she's got her arms crossed, right? We have Saturn and Taurus with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, okay? And then you have the King, Taurus energy. So let's look at this. What's going on with the Nine of Cups for Virgo, please? Okay, so we're getting the Three of Cups, Mercury, and Cancer, okay? <clears throat> so there's some kind of failed harvest here is how I feel, okay? Uh, some kind of failed harvest. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I almost feel like you've given up on something here, basically. What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles? But I feel like there's a harvest elsewhere because of this. And we have three showing up to clarify that. I accidentally pulled three, so we're going to run with it. Five of Swords, we have that up there as well. Uh, the Devil, Capricorn, and we have the Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo, okay? Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, and t give me one for the King of Pentacles, please. Give me one for the King of Pentacles. The full <laughs> Aquarian energy, okay? So yeah, basically, I feel like pretty much this whole reading is about moving out of basically what is comfortable, what you've always known, or things that, um, it just seems like there's a, there, you're in a space where you're kind of living in the past, you're living in the beginning of a situation when you need to, you know, come to terms with what it is now, all right? You have this Nine of Cups energy, clarifying that it's the Three of Cups. Like I said, I feel like there's a felt harvest. I feel this way because of the Seven of Pentacles energy, obviously, but, you know, the Nine of Cups can be a card of pleasure or fulfillment, and she's kind of sitting there with her arms crossed, not really doing anything, and I feel like that's because you're not satisfied with the growth of something, okay? But you're kind of staying in that situation at the same time. So pretty much what this is saying is that, you know, um, you could have a harvest elsewhere, okay? Just because it's not here doesn't mean that it's not anywhere, all right? So, yeah, I feel like you're conflicted about where to move, and I feel like you're in a stubborn energy with the Nine of Cups because this didn't work out, but you're expecting it to still work out for some reason, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles here as well. So, again, some kind of investment, something you've been waiting on to grow. Clarifying that, the Five of Swords, I don't feel like it is, okay? Uh, so it's causing a lot of conflict for you. The Devil, it's leaving you feeling drained, restricted, you know, that's how this feels to me. Page of Wands. There is something new that you can move on there. There could be a fire sign coming in, possibly a Capricorn as well. Uh, this King of Pentacles, clarifying that as the Fool. So breaking away from something that keeps you comfortable is basically what I'm sensing here. With the King of Pentacles, that can be a card of patience. You have so many cards of patience where you've just waited and waited and waited on something. And I don't even know how you're still waiting here, okay? It almost seems like the only thing that's keeping you hanging on is the same thing that kept you or that, um, you know, made you want to start this in the first place, which that energy of that person or that passion that you had, like whatever that was, the innocence of it is gone is how that feels to me, okay? And I know that that's a hard message to hear, but um, if it's for you, then you're going to know. This is obviously not going to be for everyone. Not everybody needs to end their connections and let go, but these readings are meant for people who are going through something tough most of the time, okay? So yeah, there's definitely something here that for some of you, you need to put um, a skill on display, all right? 
uh, and you could possibly monetize from that. There's something that you don't want to start. You need to have the courage and the backbone to put yourself out there, okay? To swing that sword is how I'm feeling here, Virgo. Um, and they're telling you to pretty much embrace uncertainty. That's where success is, is uh, in uncertainty and letting go of outcomes. So there's an attachment to outcomes somebody needs to let go of. For others of you, it's some kind of person here. Like I said, that's that kind of took over the whole reading. Basically, with the King of Pentacles, it can be a card of somebody who um, is very stubborn, all right? And then you have the full card clarifying that. So you really just need to break away from this. You know, whatever this comfortable energy is, I'm going to stay stuck even if I'm not happy. Yeah, you're going to have to move away from that, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. Um, tough message, okay? One of the toughest readings I've done so far, um, but it's what I was getting. And, you know, if you guys would like a reading more tailored to your energy, all the details are down below, but this is what I'm seeing. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, um, and you all enjoy your week. Bye.